Hi folks, thanks for tuning in to another video. If the uh, title didn't give it away, if not, this will give it away. I want to do some reviews on some other bits and pieces um, that I collect. I've sort of dipped in and out of Marvel Legends over the last, you know, bunch of years, really. Um, it's been a while, so I've sort of still pick up figures here and there. I've sold off my collection a couple of times. I've built it back up again. Um, but I thought, why not review these figures as I get them in? Whether I keep them long term is yet to be seen. Um, but yeah, I always have fun with the figures, so I thought I'd just, you know, it's another one of my passions. I love the MCU, um, and I love some of Marvel Comics figures as well. So I'm planning on doing some DC stuff as well, some Batman and, and, and some stuff like that. So I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you'll tune in to future videos where I do something a little bit different. Um, so now we've got that out of the way, we're obviously going to take a look at Thor from Endgame. This is part of the Infinity Saga Legend series. Um, did pick this one up today with Odin. Um, so I will be reviewing Odin next as well. So I really do like this uh, box packaging style. I think this is really nice and effective. Um, certainly bumped the price point up a little bit, at least here in Australia. I'm not sure whether they were a little bit pricier. Uh, anywhere else in the world um, but yeah being being a reasonably casual uh, Marvel Legends collector this is one I was pretty pretty excited about when it was released um, <laughs> it was good six six months plus ago um, and finally just picking it up today so it's looking pretty good I'm, I'm excited I'm gonna open this one up and we'll take a look at the figure all right, folks, here is the God of Thunder himself. What a really, really cool looking figure. I'm pretty, pretty thrilled about this one. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll take a quick look at the accessories. We'll just move him into the corner there. And hopefully the camera does it so I, <laughs> if I try and focus on him. So we do get a couple of lightning effects here, which are pretty cool. Um, I think this one has been out before um, a couple of times. It's the same thing twice. Um, whether or not I was meant to get two in the box, I'd got two in the box, but um, that's cool. Uh, yeah, this piece I believe came with Stormbreaker on the last version of Thor, which was the sh sort of short haired Thor, which I haven't had for a little while now. I did have that figure at one point, um, and yeah, in my last Marvel Legends, sort of clear out that one. That one saw me part ways with it. Um, I really did like that figure, but I like this one too. I also have Ravager Thor coming from uh, Love and Thunder. So here we have Stormbreaker, looking pretty cool. It's a nice sort of, you know, illuminated electric effect. I think that looks really cool. Um, the fact that uh, the Ravager Thor that I'll be having come in within the next couple of days um, does have the standard Stormbreaker, so you can definitely swap them out. And I do have Captain America from Endgame, and he comes with sort of a standard painted Mjolnir. Uh, but this one is sort of clear blue, which is really cool as well. Just a nice sort of thing to sort of differentiate the figures. And I like the sort of lighting marks around the around the hammer. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, he also comes with a change of hands. So we do get a couple of uh, sort of open hands. Which is ideal for uh, Thor summoning the lightning. But let's take a look at the figure because it's a it's a good one. I like this one a lot. I'll zoom in a little bit. So just where my lighting is, it does look like his eyes are closed. Um, so I will try and just sort of zoom in, and get a quick closer look. So yeah, he's got the sort of illuminated bright blue eyes I think I probably would have preferred just like a standard you know painted eyes but I like this look I think it's cool um, no doubt Hasbro will drop a repaint of this one at some point um, but we will see but I do like this version of Thor a lot sculpting on the head and the hair is fantastic Love the sort of braid in the beard, I think it looks great. And sort of the paint detail looks nice too. A few more little sort of lighter highlights that look good, but I'm not going to complain. Down to the armour. 
very tempted to sort of give some of these parts a bit of a matte coat um, just to make some of these sort of circular bits sort of pop a little bit more. His trousers down to his boots, nicely sculpted, nicely detailed. Uh, one sort of glaring thing is the cape, <laughs> and this is a uh, this is more so just a Hasbro thing um, because they like using bright reds. Um, and they're always just slightly off. Um, I know Spider-Man, they've all sort of recently been it's this sort of slightly more plasticky looking red. I'm just wondering whether that's a, that's a sort of a mission statement to make them a little bit brighter, make them a little bit more eye-catching. Um, but who knows, I did just get the integrated suit Spider-Man as well from No Way Home. And yeah, very, very bright red. So it definitely could do with sort of a darker tone, but it looks fine. It's a nice sculpt, fits well. I'm not sure if it's removable at all. No, it's all, it's all sort of sealed and glued on the back there. But that's okay. I do like that it's black on the inside. I think that looks good. And the red is, you know, nice sort of striking, striking looking color. I think it looks good. Now, for those that haven't followed me before with my Star Wars videos, I tend not to sort of go too much into articulation because if you're watching, you know, reviews on Marvel action figures and, you know, Star Wars action figures from Hasbro, you more than likely know what all the articulation is on these figures. So you can pretty much pick it out just from um, watching the video. So there we have the God of Thunder. Really looking forward to seeing Thor return in Love and Thunder in just a couple of months at the time of recording this. And, uh, yeah, this is a really cool figure. I'm thrilled to have this one. I definitely wouldn't mind going picking up that Infinity War Thor again. So it shouldn't be too badly priced these days. cool to sort of monkey around with this figure a little bit. I'm uh, looking forward to getting this out and seeing what you folks think of it. Please send down in the comments below if you'd love to see more sort of different stuff on my channel. I'm, uh, I'm more than happy to uh, oblige. So uh, yeah, I'm not as passionate about the MCU and, and stuff as I am Star Wars, but um, yeah, definitely love it. And it uh, gets me excited love the uh love some of the marvel legends figures that come out and uh yeah this one is an absolute banger in my opinion some more paint details would be nice but that's okay um i like to talk about what we got instead of what we don't have <laughs> um so yeah please sound out in the comments below if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you're new around here subscribe that would be very much appreciated doing the YouTube thing for uh, over 10 years, over 11 years now. Whew. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this review. We'll see you on the next video.